Hey everybody, welcome to Brain Freeze, where we bring you the latest news and gossip on your favorite celebrities, from the red carpet to their personal lives, we've got it all covered. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take you on a journey into the fascinating world of celebrity culture. A doctor revealed a bizarre fact about Michael Jackson's voice. Fans of pop star Michael Jackson were shocked when they learned about a possible chemical castration done to the singer. The American website The Blast released a video showing Dr. Conrad Murray accusing Joe Jackson, Michael's father, of chemically castrating his son. The castration allegedly occurred during the artist's childhood, and according to the doctor, it was done through hormone injections to delay puberty and keep Michael's voice high-pitched. Conrad Murray is the physician who was convicted and served two years in prison for killing Michael Jackson. He was convicted of involuntary manslaughter after prescribing a lethal dose of the anesthetic propofol to the singer. In the recording, Murray also claims that Joe was one of the worst fathers of all time and hopes that he is finding redemption in hell. Joe Jackson died on June 27, 2018, of cancer, at the age of 89. According to experts, chemical castration is an attempt to render an individual without testicular function without performing surgery to remove the testicle. Drugs capable of inhibiting the production or circulation of testosterone in the body are inserted for this purpose. Testosterone is the primary male hormone produced in the testicles. It controls the development of a man's sexual and reproductive characteristics. Boys begin producing testosterone during adolescence, which is a time of significant changes in the body. Adolescents go through a period of transformation. Muscles begin to develop, the voice deepens, and beards begin to grow, these are typical changes of this age. When chemical castration is performed before the age of 14 or 15, the drugs used cancel the functions of testosterone, and these changes do not occur, they only occur when the drugs are discontinued. Surgical castration in the past was a practice used to allow singers to maintain a high-pitched voice after puberty. The earliest records date back to the 400s in the Byzantine Empire, where choirs used castrated men for higher-pitched voices. The practice was resumed in the 17th and 18th centuries in opera companies in Italy. At the time, poor, orphaned, or abandoned children were castrated to become singers capable of playing female roles. The act was banned in 1870. Your support means everything to us, so please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing our content.